Hi, I have a fun project for us today. We are going to do a dollhouse bookcase. So I'm taking the Billy bookcase, we're doing an Ikea hack. They just dropped the price on it. It was 49, now it's 39. So this is even more affordable and we're gonna make it really cute. I love this piece from Pottery Barn. It's $799. It looks like a dollhouse. It's cute for toy storage. I'm thinking I will make something similar. The top will be actually for a dollhouse look and the bottom I'll keep for storage. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna build the Billy bookcase and we're gonna do it exactly how Ikea tells us to do it. So that is really simple. And for this project, I am using these bins I got to hold my son's Lego and they are just a little bit too big for the shelf. So I am going to extend the shelf a little bit, like two inches. I don't think most people need to do this, but it's something I wanna do so it's more functional for my house. So let's cut the wood for the roof. This is the most important thing because it's gonna give that pointed to top that makes the whole thing look like a house. So we're using three quarter inch plywood and we are cutting two pieces and then we're just going to join it together at the top and we're using corner clamps to kind of make it easier for um, when my husband drills the pilot hole and then puts in the actual screws. And you can kind of see when it goes on top, it looks really cute and it's a really simple upgrade because all you have to do is butt the pieces next to each other and screw them together. Then to attach the roof to the top of the belly bookcase, you just put it on top. You can use a speed square to make sure that it's perfectly that 45 degree angle when it's sitting on the top so it's adjusted correctly. And then you're gonna go from the inside of the top shelf and screw the roof on it that way. So we are taking plywood and we're cutting it down um, so that we can screw some holes in it. First we do pilot holes and then um, we hold it up to the bookcase and drill more holes through there and then put the screws on and that makes it so that all of the shelves and the sides of the shelves are all longer so it's just kind of like i widened the bookcase a little bit and by we i mean my husband um how we work is he really does all the construction because he's so much better at it than i am and then i do the finished work i come up with ideas we're a good team so i'm glad he's helping me with this because it's a little bit tricky because we use screws to extend the bookshelf and make it thicker we are going to cover that up with decorative trim i found this rope trim at home depot i really like so we're cutting that and then we are attaching that with nails to the front and that gives like a really good finish look if you're not extending your frame you can skip this step and the last one where we cut and put on the facing but for the way i'm using it i really like how this works out and if you just like the look of the rope trim you could just put this on top of the billy bookcase shelf front as well for the back of the roof, I don't want it to be see-through. So we're going to cut some beadboard so that we can attach it to the back. And this will be kind of the back of the dollhouse. And this is a really quick upgrade. You could also do beadboard in the bottom section too if you want it to match all the way up. So what I really love about the example photo I'm using is the cute trim at the top. And it's called like gingerbreading or running trim. And so I bought some of that. And mine's a little bit different, like bigger probably, but I still think it's super cute. So we're gonna cut that and then nail it onto the front of the roof. To add some detail to the base, we're gonna add some baseboard. So all you gotta do is cut it with the miter saw and then nail it onto the bottom. And this just adds a lot of good detail. It gives it some more presence because you have that like heavier bottom. And it just adds the detail that makes it look more like the inspiration picture and less cheap Ikea. So now that the frame for the whole house is built, we need to do some finish work, which is the least fun part, but we're gonna wood fill all of the holes. And because of the way I built out my shelves, they can't move anymore. So all of the holes inside of the shelf are getting filled as well. And then everything's getting sanded, so it'll be nice and smooth. And because I'm going to paint everything on this, because the two-tone look is not what I'm going for, um, we're also roughing up the laminate so that it'll accept the primer and the paint better. I'm doing everything I can to make sure that the paint will stick to this because my son is going to, he plays Lego all the time and they're in these bins so he'll be like pulling them in and out. I don't want the paint to scrape off. So like I said, we sanded it first. Next I'm doing primer. So you gotta put on the first coat of primer, let that dry for two hours, do a second coat and let that dry overnight and that will give the best grip so the primer will stick to the laminate the best that way. 
So after the primer is done, it's time to paint, which is really the fun part because you get to see all of the work from the last steps transform into a finished bookcase, which is really fun. For the roof, we are doing shingles and this will add some really good texture. So all you have to do is take a ruler and measure every one inch and draw a line and do that from top to bottom. You need to start at the bottom and work your way up. And then for each row, you add some glue. I'm just using construction adhesive because I have some I really like. You could also just use wood glue. And then you put each shingle one by one in place. And this works amazing. So the bottom row will overlap the base a little bit. And then each one overlaps just enough so that it covers any of the spacing. It's really nice that they have it perfectly figured out. So you can just um, place them one by one and it looks so good. And on top of the roof, I'm also gluing a cute chimney, which I think really finishes things off nicely. And on the bottom shelves, I know exactly what I put on those Lego because that's what we had before. But on the top was a really fun part because I got all of these really cute miniatures to make a cute little dollhouse section. And so it makes this both storage and an element of play, which I really like. I think it's so fun for a kid's room to really maximize things this way so it looks cute and it's a fun way to play. I'm really happy with how the bookcase came out. I think it's so cute. It kind of goes with the dollhouse theme we have in this room. So we have a dollhouse dresser, a desk, and a nightstand. And so now we have a bookcase. I think it's the last one I'll do, but never say never because it's so fun. I would love to hear what your favorite dollhouse project is. I have done, if you like this one, what you would do differently, let me know in the comments. If you like this project, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Maybe I'll make some more dollhouse things. And if you're not already, please subscribe.